Hello, welcome to another video with flowers, apparently. <laughs> yes. They're nice. We're gonna start the video off with flowers because, well, you know, it's it's like coming on springtime mm -hmm. and these things are just gorgeous. Adam got me these for Valentine's Day. And yeah, so they sprung. They sprung. Spring has sprung. And mm -hmm. so before we get started with today's video. I'm sharing the beauty of the flowers with you. And they smell delicious too. <laughs> so if we didn't tell you already, we are Adam and Brienne. Brienne, Adam. And we're yeah. <laughs> we're Twin Flames in Harmonious Union. And we are here today to talk about a secret ingredient mm. to having your harmonious twin flame union and beyond. And there's one key ingredient that we are going to talk with you about today. Yeah, and so stick with us. Yeah, don't go, kidding. don't go yeah. just yet. Yeah. And also too, uh, this may be a bit triggering and it may not, mm -hmm. but it is truth. It is uh, the key ingredient to your union and there's no other way around it. <clears throat> Yeah, but even if you get triggered, please stick with us because we're gonna please stick with we're us. gonna you know roll it out and we're gonna you know take it out to the end there. We are. Like when I first realized that I you know I woke up to the twin flame journey, I tried so many things you know to attract my twin flame. It was so many things because um, you know we're taught in relationships in the world this is how you you know you have your person like you. You get a good fitness routine, you eat good, you look healthy, you, uh, you know, you take good care of yourself, you present yourself nicely, put on your best face forward, just all those things that were taught. Mm -hmm. And um, with your twin flame union, you can like scratch all that out. It doesn't mean don't take care of yourself, like <laughs> still take care yeah. of you. If anything, yes, that's like most important. Doing it for yourself rather than doing it for a person. So I feel like we've kind of, um, you know, put it off enough. Mm -hmm. The key ingredient to your harmonious twin flame union is God. God. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Source. Love. Yes. The universe. Whatever mm -hmm. you like to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. You can call it as Jeff and Shalia have said before in one of the classes, the twin flame ascension school classes. You can call it shoe. You can call it, you know, anything you want to call it, but all in all, it is your creator. You, I, none of us can get around having our harmonious twin flame union without our creator being at the center of our union. I think uh, Tasha Silver, she's an author and she's made some decks. She calls, uh, she calls God divine beloved. I think that's Aww, pretty. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, and we, you know, we wanted to bring this in gently. Like, it's taken a, it's been a process for me of getting to know who God truly is. Because I grew up in a Arkansas, you know, Southern Baptist church. And what I was taught God to be was this a man in a sky, and the man in the sky with kind of like a, you know, like a, I don't know, a hammer or something. It's like, God's going to put the hammer down on you if you don't you know, obey the Ten Commandments, and if you're sinning, you're you're damned to hell and all this mm -hmm. other stuff, right? And so I grew up being fearful of God, and um, I, I did my best to, you know, I'm going to follow what I'm being taught here, but it didn't feel good in my heart. There was something that felt very off with that. You know, as I, when I found uh, twin, uh, Jeff and Shalia with Twin Flames Universe, and they teach you how to have a relationship with God in your heart, like really getting to know God, the God within you, um, that changed everything for me. And God is love. God is source energy. I was raised in a home where it was made fun of to believe in God. Mm -hmm. Basically, non-believers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wasn't, you know, believing in God until... 2017 mm -hmm. you yeah so that's where I kind of like got to know God and it's the best decision ever basically yeah yeah, yeah and God isn't God isn't necessarily a religion because I know that's a misconception too like mm -hmm. people 
automatically when they hear the word God, they immediately think religion. Mm -hmm. And so what we're just inviting you here to do today is to let go, open your heart to what you have learned God to be. And of course, if there's things that resonate with you that you have learned, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Trust that because that's for you. That is that is your relationship with God and that is how you know God. That's one of the ways that you know God. But we are inviting you to, um, you know, if you uh, open your heart and allow yourself to get to know God in a new in a new way and to simply put it, God is energy and God is love. Like if you let everything else fall away, love is kind of like the universal law of the universe. Mm -hmm. It's just love. And so that's why going back to what we were saying in the beginning, you can call it source energy. You can call it your creator. You can call it shoe. You can call it French fry, whatever you want to call it. It's a, it is love and it's divine and unconditional love. And that is um, the key component to manifesting your harmonious twin flame union. And the way that you do that is you have a relationship with yourself. And the way that you do have a relationship with yourself is by getting to know yourself and loving yourself whenever you, you know, you're experiencing a block or an upset or you're being triggered. And the way that we did that was by um, studying Jeff and Shalia's teachings mm -hmm. in Twin Flames Universe. So you have anything else you want to share about God? God's the best. Well, I guess, too, like what just popped in my mind was... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, this is good. So, like these flowers, this is God. I feel like this is probably why I wanted to start the video out. I was thinking so I was weird, wondering why you didn't <laughs> say God made these. Yeah, like God, God made these. This is God. Mm -hmm. Like when you step outside in nature, and I know I'm a nature fanatic, and if you are too, like, God is the nature, God is the sky, God is the birds, God is you, God is me. The air um, you breathe, basically. Yeah, God is the air that we breathe. Like, we are literally, everything that we experience in life um, that feels good, that's God. Mm -hmm. And as you align yourself to that feel-good feeling, that is a, that's the foundation, you know, that love, that unconditional love of, of your union. And, um, yeah, it's just beauty. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Have anything else you want to say here? No. No. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.